Hello, you awesome people, otherwise known as my subscribers. Vane here. And holy shit, there's almost 200 of you guys now. Well, I just want to say really quick, I really appreciate you guys, and I really appreciate all the support I've been getting. So, finally, to give something back, this time on Tweak Fix, we're focusing on a really highly requested game. I would go as far as to say this is the most requested Tweak Fix episode ever. And in the first part of this, what I'm calling Megasode, we're going to focus on Fallout 3, but it doesn't stop there, because in part two we're gonna focus on a game that has kicked my ass in the past when I tried to tweak it and that is Fallout New Vegas and you're damn right I finally get redemption and I made that game super playable as you'll see in part two but for now soak in the glory that is Fallout 3 in 60 frames per second on a very low-end system so I'll just let you guys watch a little bit first then we're gonna get our hands dirty and start the tweaking I could really use a drink right now. We did it! My mom's gonna be okay! You're the best friend I've ever had, man! Hey, I know it isn't much, but I want you to have my Tunnel Snakes jacket. Go ahead, take it. You're the best, man. The best. Everything's gonna be okay now, thanks to you. If you didn't see this coming, then you obviously don't know me very well. Alright, now that I've ended the tyranny of the Tunnel Snakes on Vault 101, we're going to move on to tweaking the game so that you two can enjoy murdering somebody in cold blood. Alright guys, we're going to start tweaking Fallout 3 now. I want you guys to locate documents, my games, Fallout 3. Now, I want to stress something right off the bat before we get started. This is not going to be a simple tweak like most of my tweaks have been up to this point. This is going to require some effort and you will need to follow the steps to the letter or it could cause crashes or the game may, uh, may not launch at all. So I want you guys to pay very close attention to what I'm doing and follow along. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the file you downloaded for Fallout 3. It should be in the description. It should be Vanguardio Tames the Waste. Yeah, I know, terrible name. But anyway, we're going to start off with something simple. We're going to take Render Info. You'll see this one right here in the middle. Now we're going to drag it, we're going to drop it, and we're going to replace the old with the new. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to open up Follow Preferences. It should open up automatically in a notepad once you double click it. If it doesn't, then there's always a handy little option to right click open with should be notepad in here if not choose default program and browse for notepad that simple now once we have follow preferences open in a notepad we're gonna locate D 3 D now that's Delta 3 Delta if you guys can't see that let me show you right there D 3 D now, we're going to locate that. By the way, this is the find window. We get this by uh, hitting Control plus F. Now, we're going to hit Find Next. And this should bring up SD3D Device. This is very important, okay? The reason being is this is your graphics processor unit that the game is detecting. Now, a lot of you guys probably do not have 
an ATI ready on 3000 graphics chipset. Now, the reason this is important is if the game is detecting this and you don't have a Radeon 3000 graphics, it's going to cause a conflict. And the game might not launch at all, or it will crash. So, what we want to do is, we're going to open up Vanguardio Tames the Waste. Now, you'll notice this is a text document. This is not an INI file. This one right here, Vanguardio Tames the Waste. Again, we're going to search for D3D and we're going to find next, it'll be SD3D device. You'll see that it's all the INI values just in a text document. So what we want to do is we're going to take all of this above that line. We do not want to copy that line. We're going to copy. We're going to come back to follow preferences and again everything above this line we don't want to change that line at all in your fallout preferences. We want to keep that the same because, again, you might not have a Radeon 3000. And then we're going to paste the new. And then again, what we're going to do here is we're going to highlight everything below that line this time. Also, even if you are on a Radeon HD 3000 graphics chipset, I still recommend doing this. Because some people still may experience problems, even if you do have the same chipset. Might not be a, the same version, there could be a million different things. So, please follow these instructions no matter what. So then, we're going to highlight everything below Direct3D in Fallout Preferences. We're going to paste the new values. And just like that, you should be done. We're going to close that. We're going to save. Oh, seems like I already got it set to read only. Alright, so we're going to take that off read only for a moment. Okay, let's reopen Fallout Preferences. We're going to close. We're going to save it. And we'll come back to this here in a moment. Now, we're going to keep Vanguardio Tames the Waste open. This time, we're going to click Select All. So, highlight everything in this text document, copy it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to open up Fallout. You'll see Fallout.ini. Should be all in capital letters. We're going to open this up, we're going to click Select All and then we're just going to paste in all the new values. Now, we're going to find Direct3D again. And direction up. There we go. Now, we're going to delete this line altogether. Just in the Fallout INI. Not in Fallout Preferences, only in Fallout. We're going to delete that line completely don't leave a space. Then we're going to exit out and this is probably set to read only as well so I'll cancel that for now. We'll take that off read only. Yep. So we don't need that anymore. So now we're going to close this. We're going to save the changes. And this time we're going to right click on both files we're gonna select properties and then we're gonna check the read only checkbox once the changes are made you're going to click apply and OK again we're gonna do this for follow prefs we're gonna click right click rather select properties select read only put a check in the box click OK or apply and then OK and we don't need to do this for render info but I've been asked quite a few times why the files need to be set to read only the reason behind this is it prevents the game from making changes to these INI files 
This is very important because if the game makes any changes, it will undo our tweaks. We do not want that to happen. There is a slight drawback, however, to doing it this way, and that is if you feel like you want to make changes to the mouse sensitivity in game, or you want to change your control scheme on your keyboard, then unfortunately you will have to make the changes each time you launch the game. You'll notice it resets the changes every time you close. Now, it's because you can only write to these INIs temporarily since they're read only. Now, it's a small price to pay, however, in my opinion, for a better frame rate. It's a mild annoyance for something even better, right? So, anyway, that is Fallout 3 with a better frame rate, and I hope you enjoy it, guys. And that wraps up episode one of our two part tweak fix episode. Be sure to tune in to the next one where I'll cover New Vegas. I'll leave you guys with some tweaked gameplay footage for Fallout 3 right now. And you'll notice the graphics weren't degraded at all, really, with these INI &I tweaks. In fact, I'm quite proud of this because you'll notice really the only change is the frame rate. And I'm achieving almost 60 frames per second in just about every area of the game. So, I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay footage, and tune in for the next episode, and I'll see you in Vegas. Take care, guys. I almost didn't believe it was possible. No, you didn't need me. If anyone can survive out there, it's you. It's tempting, but my place is here. The vault needs me more than you do. I'm the only one who has a chance to talk some sense into my father. Listen, if you do catch up with your dad, tell him I'm sorry for... for, you know, Jonas and, and my father and everything. Goodbye. Later. You're gonna hear about this. Oh.